Welcome back to the Physics Dojo. Today I want to reveal a lie that a lot of physics teachers tell, me included sometimes. The lie is basically this. Every magnet has two poles, north and south. So it is true for this magnet. It's got a north pole that's colored red and a south pole that it's not colored or just silver. Uh, it's also true for this magnet, north pole and a south pole. And the behaviors are something that you're probably familiar with. Two north poles repel each other, so red and red repel. Similarly, two south poles repel each other, and opposite poles attract, so silver with red, for example. Perfect. Okay, so that's all fine and good. But check out this other magnet that I've got here. I've colored one side black and one side yellow. Let's just uh, give a quick investigation here. Yellow attracts red and also repels silver, or south. That means that the yellow end is a south pole. And the black end also repels the south pole side and attracts the north pole side. That means that the black end is south. So maybe this is a magnetic monopole? Well, a magnetic monopole would be any magnet that only has one pole. In this case, we got south and south. That might appear to be a magnetic south pole, but let's investigate a little bit further. Here's a better view of the interaction between two conventional dipole magnets. Notice that no matter how I hold the magnet, opposites attract each other and like poles repel each other. Each of these magnets has two poles. The mystery magnet, on the other hand, behaves a little bit differently. The yellow end clearly attracts the north pole side, suggesting that it's a south pole, and the black side also attracts the north pole side, suggesting that it too is a south pole. But hang on. Attraction isn't the best test because that would be the expected behavior of an unmagnetized piece of ferromagnetic material. The real test is with repulsion. But it passes that test. Notice that the black end does indeed repel the south pole side, consistent with it being south, and the yellow side also repels the south pole side, revealing that it too is indeed south pole. These both ends do appear to be south. So, do I have a magnetic monopole? Nope but I do have a tripole, and that's pretty cool too. It is a lie that all magnets have exactly two poles. This magnet has three poles. The black end really is south. That wasn't a trick. The black end repels south and attracts north, and uh, as already shown, the yellow end does indeed do exactly the same thing. Those both ends are south poles. But check out the center, which I've already marked with red to indicate that it too is a north pole. The middle of that magnet repels the North Pole, revealing that it really is a North Pole, and it attracts the South Pole, as you'd expect. All right, so let me show you how I made my magnetic tripole. I started off with a regular bar magnet, and I also had, on hand, two very strong rare earth magnets. I've colored them so that you can see their polarity nicely. The reds are North. Here's what I did. I took the North Pole side of my strong magnet, and I attached it onto one end. I took the other north pole and attached it onto the other end. Now, because these two magnets are very, very strong, what they've actually done is induced south poles on both ends of the bar magnet. Now, of course, there's no such thing as a magnetic monopole, at least not that it has been shown to exist. There is some interesting theory about it, but for now I'm going to go with it doesn't exist. So right now I really do have a south pole side here and a south pole side here. Both the black and the yellow ends are south pole. But the magnetic field has actually gone right down to the center of the bar magnet. And that magnetic field is actually exiting out the center, making the center the magnetic north pole. So it's not a magnetic monopole, but it is a magnetic tripole. Now, to lock this magnetism in, it's important that you get rid of these two magnets pretty much at the same time. So the way I found to do that pretty well, it works pretty well at least, is to kind of hold the bar magnet and carefully pull both of those strong magnets off at the same time, leaving you with a permanent magnetic tripole. 